Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. Well, we've been in a lot of trouble here when it comes to gardening, haven't we? Lack of water, extreme heat, really stressful for the plants. But um, there are th things out there that would be uh, very helpful. This climate change has made a big difference in how we garden. And um, also coming along are some new products. Um, new to us, but ancient, millions of years old. And so uh, this is something, it is a fungus. It's called mycorrhiza. And myco means uh, fungal and rhiza means the roots. So this is a fungal organism that lives on the root system. And what it does is it brings nutrients back to the plant and uh, uh, the, um, the plant gives nutrients back to the fungus. And the fungus goes way out into the rhizosphere, just opening it up dramatically. This is really important. Nursery plants don't have that. Um, you'd see the fungal organism on there if they were here. And uh, this is really root bound, but the organism would be white. It would be all over this. And from here, it would extend off into the ground. Now you can take some mycorrhiza and put it on here, trees, shrubs, uh, just about anything. Matter of fact, 95% of the uh, world's plants have mycorrhiza. So it's important that we have it here too because of this climate change, the soil is drier and uh, the plants are stressed and this mycorrhiza helps with that. It goes way off in the distance, brings those nutrients back, but better than that, it brings water back to the plant also. It mines the soil. Carbon is sequestered by these plants and so, um, I mean these organisms. So it has a tremendous amount of benefits. If you buy a plant uh, or you transplant something, it's a great opportunity to put that mycorrhiza on there. It'll, it'll increase the growth of that plant, more flowers on the plant. It'll just make it much more vigorous than you ever saw by adding this mycorrhiza. That's the only name it has. I keep repeating it because when you walk into a nursery, that's the only thing that you'd be asking for is mycorrhiza. And it is widely available. It's becoming more available because of those things that I mentioned. Stress, the lack of water. This will improve the amount of water that the plant takes in. You don't have to water so much. The plant will find it down in the soil with the mycorrhiza. So this is a um, tremendous little product. You should put it on anything. I mentioned transplants, uh, new nursery plants. Put it on there when you get the chance. Put it on the root system on the outside. If you've planted a garden, you can also find it in a soluble form. Uh, this little one right here is uh, soluble. So uh, this is gonna be a good way to go out and drench the plants and see the difference. We're in a lot of trouble when it comes to gardening. It's so hot, it's so dry, and so stressful for the plants. And you can relieve all of that by using this mycorrhiza. Texas A&M did a lot of research on this for 25 years, and they really think it's a neat product. The rest of the country has done a lot of research too, and they've all collectively proven that this will enhance the growth of the plants out there take the stress off of the plants. This is one of the best things besides a nice mulch uh, to get these plants off to a very, very good start. So whether it's a four inch plant or a 25 gallon or bigger, it doesn't make any difference. Placing some mycorrhiza on there will make all the difference in the world, will make the plants much hardier than you ever imagined and the ability to bring back nutrients and water is part of the, what the mycorrhiza enhances. So for Backyard Basics, I'm John Romgul. I'll see you next time.